Uh, good evening, bitch who followers and follow patriots. We are in lockdown, as you may know. The reason I'm doing this video tonight uh, is because of what actually happened regarding of Nigel Farage as of yesterday. And as you may know, guys, uh, he wasn't doing nothing illegally wrong. He went down to Dover. Rent and reported on illegal migrants coming in. Our border force brings them over, lets them come into the country, and they're scattered away, not even getting tested for the COVID 19. And I would love to know which neighbour of his that reported him to the police, wasting police time and taxpayers' money. It is disgusting behaviour. And I am getting sick and tired of people grasping on other people when they shouldn't be minding their own business. I know it's hard times. I'm st struggling, don't get me wrong. If Mr Farage is going to be able to hear me tonight or whether to see this, I would love you to get in contact with me, please. Because uh, I will fight your case to you. You are doing... Nothing wrong. You are going out, getting the actual evidence, which Pretty Patel, who is the Home Secretary, doesn't have a clue <laughs> what's going on. We should be closing our borders. It's a joke. Absolute joke. What's going on? These people coming through Cali. As they get into Dover, we get bring them in. Oh, that's all right. There's your there's a card. There's your four digit pin. There's a house waiting over here. Everything's sorted. And guess what? And the news reporters don't even report. Don't care about it. Bloody anti. Uh, they're very. Uh, what's the word? I think of it. They're full on remainers. They are stinking remainers who does not accept. Democracy. They do not get what is going on around the world. They are liars, cheaters, and I also talking about this. I also got a message from from Matthew Hancock. And um, I am going to say it. And Nigel Farage has actually said this in his videos before. We want the truth. The numbers. The testing, we just want the truth for crying out sakes. And this is shocking when I seen on the TV today. We have failed to hit that target three days on a row. Now how the hell are we not getting these testings faster? Look at Germany for crying out sakes. They have done everything right. They're getting the testings done. They've done everything right. We have fallen behind. We should have acted on sooner. And I'm going to say this as well. Boris Johnson. You have got some very, very low grade cabinet ministers. That may want to start to think about either you keep them on that cabinet. Or you kick them out of the cabinet. And get someone else to replace that job. Because you have got some of them that cannot be trusted. For starters, I am going to start with Robert Buckland who is the Lord Chancellor of uh, the justice system, he cannot be trusted. He does not have a clue what the hell's going on. He needs to be kicked out. Matt Hancock, he's another one that needs to go. He's a dirty Remainer, who cannot be trusted with the NHS. He's failed. He is not telling the truth. I don't know many of the cabinet ministers, which is shocking for me. But what I am going to say, you've got a Chancellor of Exchequer who is doing a bloody good job. I think he's done an amazing job at the minute. Come in at the right time. But it's still not good enough, no. You really now need to sort this out, guys, because we just want the truth like everyone else. What I am going to say now is, moving back on with Nigel Farage, 
Nigel Farage will happily could even do something incredible again. It can put a lot of shame on you lot, guys. He will put a lot of shame on you again. He's done it before and he'll do it again. Look at those European ele elections, what we should never have had in the first place. And because of the Tories and the Labour Party could not be trusted, what happens? Everyone went in for the vote for the Brexit Party and the Brexit Party did a brilliant job in those elections. Fair play to Nigel Farage on that one. We are coming out of the European Union. Do not accept any more extensions. We should never add these extensions. You had three years, what David Cameron said. And if after those three years you failed to get any negotiations, you go WTO. Way to go. World Trade Organization. You were in full control. When people voted to leave the European Union, did it ever mention on that ballot a deal? No, it never. It just said, that should Great Britain should be remain as a member of the European Union or leave the European Union. That was what the two options were. And the majority voted to leave. You've given it to the people. The people said leave. And the majority said voted to leave. You go with that majority. That is how democracy works. You've got some MPs that don't even earn them. Don't know what that means. It is disgusting. And I'll tell you one thing. Boris, you really now need to be careful because... One little trip like this can they now really could do a lot more damage because the Labour people, they can use that grudge you against you. They can use anything. They cannot be trusted either. So enough of those. I'm now going to go on to uh, licensing. Your TV licensing. I think it's disgusting how much... It is to have a, a TV license. I don't watch anything on the BBC because they are corrupt people. I don't trust the BBC. They're not getting a single penny out of us. They shouldn't have anything about us. I do not watch their programmes. And I encourage everyone not to watch the BBC because they need to realise if they want money, why don't they go and do what the other t TV companies do? advertisements because that's how they make their money we shouldn't be had to pay in that it's getting ridiculous but all i'm going to say now guys is stay safe protect the nhs save lives please you're doing an amazing job the ones that are listening that are staying in doing as they're told the ones that are not listening you will pay the consequences and I'll tell you now what my consequences would be if it was me and that was in charge. The ones that think, oh, it's all right, I'll go and do what I like. No. Right, the fines ain't going to work. I think prison might do you some good. And then you'll realise what else extreme that would be. Learn your consequences. The ones that are staying in, carry on doing that. You're doing an amazing job. And thank you very much, NHS, and all those people on the front line trying to fight this virus we will beat it and we will defeat the coronavirus please please stay safe guys we will get through this there is a long way to go but there is light at the tunnel eventually tune in i will try and tune in again i will see you again guys stay safe Always here for anyone. Cheers.